Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Last week, we visited two pilot renewal projects near Tabor, Alberta. The idea is simple. Take old abandoned oil and gas well sites and repurpose them as small solar farms, thus replacing lost lease and tax revenue. The concept seems amazing since there are more than 150,000 abandoned wells in Alberta. The two pilot projects are owned and operated by Irican Canada, a cooperative owned by the St. Mary's and Raymond Irrigation Districts. My name is uh, Trevor Helwig. I am the Engineering and Technical Services Manager with the St. Mary River Irrigation District. Behind Trevor is the Barnwell. Renew Well Solar Project. 860 kilowatts of solar where an abandoned oil well sat for years. It's a fantastic uh, repurposing of uh, orphan well sites. Uh, in particular, you know, this site has a, a really interesting history in, in that it was, uh, a, it was an orphan well site for over 20 years and there was no revenue coming in to, to the MD from taxes or to the landowner. It's, it's uh, allowing us to put, put in something that is making the, the land useful again and generating revenue in terms of uh, money coming back to us as utility and money going back to the landowner uh, in form of lease, lease payments and, and tax loan back to the, to the MD. The Irrigation District developed both of the pilot projects, the Barnwell site and also the Fincastle site not far down the road. The total is about 1.5 megawatts. So, how's it working out? But this has been a particularly good summer. Very, very little uh, cloud cover. You know, it's been very, very hot and dry. So the production has been 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 phenomenal. Yeah, and the, the pool pricing has been also very good. So we we've. We produced uh, about two hundred thousand in, in revenue since since March, which is is a good uh, a good good amount of, of money for it, considering that we only have but one point five megawatts between the two sites. These are small projects, but they're not classified as microgeneration projects, which would have a relatively simple approval process. These two were classified as community generation small scale, and they had to go through all the same hoops as a large solar project, including $28,000 in studies. It took two years to complete them. It's unlikely that many more projects like this will go ahead because of the onerous process. But what if the process were simpler? Oh, definitely, yeah. It would If you can take away the, the uncertainty of the interconnection, it's a lot easier to plan and execute a project. So it, it took about you know two years to get all the approvals in place for this. And the potential is enormous. If just 10% of the abandoned oil well sites in Alberta were repurposed as mini solar farms, they would have a capacity of 6,200 megawatts. And the idea works particularly well for irrigation systems. Irrigation uh, peak times are, are during the day and it kind of coincident with peak times for, for solar output. So there's also peak uh, electricity pricing from, uh, you know, in urban areas where, where uh, air conditioning are coming on when it's hot. So that having solar output, it, it helps balance the grid and it helps balance those, those shave off those peak times when, when irrigation is, is uh, it's really affecting the load in, in a localized area. So I think that, you know, we, we like, we've proven the concept, it can work and be, be a, be a financial driver for 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 the area. Uh, long term, it would be great to see more solar developed uh, in southern Alberta. But you know, on sites like this where we're putting it on underutilized land, not taken away from agriculture or uh, irrigation. Helwig says he sees a lot of potential in these small scale projects, and things could really take off if the approval process were simpler, and if you were able to aggregate projects to benefit from economies of scale. Learn more in our blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.